Hello everyone! <laughs> I got a jigsaw puzzle here and I've been saving it for a video because I'd like to do one of those time-lapse sort of dealio things in a way to sort of kind of have some fun here by doing double duty of showing how to do a puzzle as well as, well, doing a time-lapse thingy. <laughs> so... I guess I should get started on this. Hopefully it won't be too difficult or anything like that, maybe. I mean, it's only 550 pieces, so it's not like it's a big deal or anything like that. It's just a thing of that uh, gotta get them all sorted and put together and stuff like that. And there is ye old box art image that's on. Yes. <laughs> but uh, it is basically the, you know, box art for the game. But anyway, <laughs> let's get the time lapse started. Times 27 speed post commentary. So uh, yeah, since I'm still working on Mario Golf Advance Tour, I thought I would do this little thing that I had kind of saved for a while here. I, I made this video a couple of months ago, but I thought, mm, now's a good time, along with the other two in the groove videos to upload during this downtime of Mario Golf Advance Tour. So as you likely seen in my sorting process, I got all the edge pieces flopped out on one side and the rest of the puzzle pieces just face up on the other side. I didn't really do any more sorting past that. Well, now I'm looking for more edge pieces that I missed and, well, okay, I got, actually, me, I was looking for the logo there, but still. <laughs> I was mainly looking for edge pieces that I missed in there and ended up deciding, yeah, I'll grab the logo. Uh, like, I'm also gonna grab red pieces as long as I'm in there and a little bit of that ground portion. You know, it's basically, the strategy that I use is I, sort as I go. <laughs> Whatever section seems to suit the puzzle building best, I go for. And, uh, well, in this case, I'm going for the red because there's really no other better time to go for the red anyway. <laughs> Even if you build the other pieces above it, you're still going by the shapes of the uh, edges next to it, not by color or anything like that. So, eh, might as well go for that. And then I, of course, went over for the ground pieces which as you see me sorting. I'm also picking out coin pieces as well. Basically, whatever I see that's not going to be too difficult to assemble, I, I assemble first, and then the rest of Get your head out of the way, Pika Gam. Dang, amateur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's my first time lap, so just bear with me here. <laughs> I try and keep out of the way for the most part. So I should say keep my head out of the way for the most part. And anytime you see the camera flicker over like that, that's me starting a new recording because there's a limit to how much time that the, the camera can record at once and whatnot. So yeah, overall, this uh, didn't take me too long. I did it all in one day, despite it being a 550 piece puzzle, uh, namely because it's a pretty easy puzzle overall. Like you see, uh, head, head, no, out of the way. Ah, no, you missed the box. <laughs> So yeah, as you've seen, I was sorting out the box pieces, and that's why I plopped on up there, because they're pretty obvious to pick out. Now I was grabbing the grass pieces between the transition of the background hills and uh, the grass flooring itself on the side scrolling. Then I went over to the Goomba. See, uh, th there wasn't really any other... Head! Head! <laughs> there wasn't any other brown sorts of pieces like the Goomba there, so I went for the Goomba. And now, as you can see, I'm kind of grabbing for some background pieces there because, again, there's uh, no piece quite like the backgrounds there. So I'm just sort of like working from the ground up, I guess you could say, on the puzzle as that just seems to be the way things are flowing. Now I'm going for ye ol pink Yoshi along with the tongue because, well, again, there aren't quite pieces like that throughout the whole puzzle. So that's basically how I continue to build this bad, or I should say any sort of puzzle from start to finish. Uh, puzzles, in general, are, well, not this easy. <laughs> 
<laughs> There's usually more pieces of the same color or texture or whatnot, but this is still a pretty fun puzzle to do, and thus I intended on doing it. So that is what I did, and I decided to make a time lapse of it because I figured it's not going to take all that long. And as you notice, I've just figured out where Mario and Yoshi fit in relation to the frame. Uh, you might want to check the box as you go along for the picture as sort of a reference. Some people like to do puzzles without the box as a reference or any sort of picture as a reference to make it a little more challenging, but yeah, it's up to you. I, I typically use the box because that's the, that's the image that they show you right from the store. So it's not like you don't know what picture you're getting into. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess it's easy to, uh, you know, not, remember what picture you're doing before you do it. Like maybe if you keep it at home for a while and just plopped out on the shelf and you forget all about it and you're like, okay, I'm going to open this blind. I'm not going to look at the box. <laughs> and usually what I end up finishing with is the sky, especially if there's other things intertwined with it, like characters and stuff like that. Uh, namely because it's a solid color section that's usually gradiented as well so it's it's kind of hard to tell pieces apart unless it's by shape so i like to get the other shapes of other pieces around it um just to make it easier as i go and that's pretty much it for the puzzle hope you enjoy and i will see you later